This was day two of a high profile visit. Vice President Kamala Harris here in the Houston area. The VP spent the day at Johnson Space Center at the top of her schedule was chairing a meeting of the National Space Council. KPRC 2's Joel Eisenbaum live at JSC. Joel, it was a busy day for the vice president. It sure was. I imagine most are, Keith, but the vice president has left the building. In fact, the vice president has left the great state of Texas. I just checked, and her plane, Air Force Two, is right now over Indiana. She has to be in New York on Sunday for a 9-11 ceremony, but she was in Houston today, and she was all about space. Friday, Vice President Harris in Houston, day two of her tour, spending the lion's share of the day at Johnson Space Center. Madam Vice President, we have you loud and clear. It's great to see you at JSC and an honor to speak with you from the International Space Station. She kicked things off in the morning with a long-distance conversation, a friendly PR-type affair with three of our astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Then, with local dignitaries in attendance, like Congressman Al Green, she started the last public leg of her stay addressing the invite-only crowd at Johnson Space Center about the explosion of job opportunities in the for-profit space sector. Today, I'm proud to say over a dozen commercial space companies are answering that call. In fact, next month, these companies will kick off three regional pilot training programs. Vice President Harris is the chairperson of the National Space Council, which convened right after her remarks. This group includes NASA's administrator and is in charge of formulating space policy because space is still largely the Wild West. A little bit of Texas-related trivia. The National Space Council was started in 1989 by President George H.W. Bush. We're live at Johnson Space Center. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.